Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 24 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinion on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Mega Man Rock Force. First up, let's merge these fellows together to form four new robot masters and after these we'll check the other four so we'll actually take a look at them all. So first up, let's go to War Man because that's uh, the first thing I clicked when I was practicing. I have uh, something to talk about the actual boss and I have a few things to talk about in the stage. Alright, first gimmick. Uh, the whole stage evolves around dragging these robots uh, with you. Uh, it's a neat gimmick, but again, it doesn't... Uh, how should I say this? It, it doesn't represent Mega Man at its fullest. This is not something you'd see in a Mega Man game, at least in the 8-bit variations. I'm not sure if something like this was uh, uh, in Legends or something, because I really didn't play a lot of uh, those kind of games. Uh, but if you shoot it, it stops following you, and if you shoot it again, it starts following you. This is important to know, because in the stage uh, there's gonna be airstrikes, and these guys are weak as fuck. And if they die, you have to get them again, and uh, do it all over again. So. My gripe with this is that they should have some kind of tell when they're not following you and when they are. So, for example, when they're not, I would prefer if they had their eyes closed, for example. That that would have been a good tell. So when you shoot it, the eyes open and they start following you. And when you shoot them again, they close their eyes and stop. Uh, I'm gonna show you why this is important, in my opinion. Uh, but we'll get to there uh, soon. So again, the color is very nice. So that's the problem. So all of the enemies in the stage are gonna hit these guys. And every shot they take, they get a bit more weak and then they die. So when you're doing stuff in the stage like this, like there's enemies and your bullets, they might look the same. I would prefer that they actually had, the eye had their eyes closed and open uh, accordingly. But uh... I understand, can't get it all, but that's just how I would have done this part. Uh, I love, uh, however, how they uh, reimagined some of the Joes to kind of walk around. Like here, I really enjoyed this one, <laughs> and this was pretty cool to me. Uh, that's that's pretty funny. But the gimmick in the stage, uh, again, here's one one of these spots when you you just want to drop down, and bam, you'll you'll get hit. So the enemy placement. Uh, in some places is a bit uh, unforgiving So here again you had you had a chance to learn how the enemy works by looking at it first before going down Stuff like this you can easily adjust to you have enough time to uh, See that there's an enemy that's gonna drop down and of course the usage of weapons Is pretty heavy in these stages uh, you can do them all with the buster I think at least the ones that I've tried so far, but uh Definitely it rewards you for using weapons, like here. Uh, pretty cool weapon usage. So, I, I think the weapons are pretty good in this game. And let's uh, showcase bees while we're at it. That's probably the checkpoint, or one of them. So bees is pretty powerful. Only downside to beat is that you have to keep firing in order for him to attack. So beat doesn't attack automatically. You have to fire every time if you want it to attack. Uh, I don't use beat that much, I don't see where it could be beneficial, at least not yet. And Virus Outbreak really is the weapon of this stage, because uh, the airstrike can't hurt you, at least for the most time, most times. Okay, it still can hurt you, but I was uh, playing through this stage yesterday and I was using, using the Virus Outbreak, and the airstrike didn't hurt me. There we go, so you have to be completely still, is my guess. But still... Uh, a very good weapon choice for this stage uh, to be using that. Uh, you just have to find cover whenever uh, the airstrikes are coming down. 
Uh, the respawning in this stage is a bit Ninja Gaiden-ish. Uh, I mean that in a bad way. But, uh... There's a, uh, actually something I want to showcase uh, about the Joes. Particularly the ones that stand still. Uh, not, the, not the ones that run. But there's a... a, a hitbox issue with... Uh, those Joes that stand still. And you, you actually saw here that one of the problems with these guys is that if an enemy is behind it, you can't shoot the enemy because you'll actually shoot the robot. Uh, so that's one thing I don't like about this, but if you have this gimmick, then how else are you gonna do it? Uh, it's a bit hard to uh, do these kind of things. Uh, uh, in the end, it does work well. Uh, but it's just something that I personally don't care about. Uh, it's a... Uh, Needless gimmicks in a Mega Man game are just are not my forte. So if you enjoy this kind of thing, then cool. But I just don't see the appeal. Weapons uh, really shine on these stages, and I love that because uh, it's pretty easy to beat most Mega Man games with just a Buster. But this game really uh, emphasizes the use of weapons, and I like that because the weapons. Uh, should be what you should be using on the wild levels. That's the whole point of the wild levels is to utilize everything you have. So this game, at least for now, nails it pretty well. All right, so let me showcase this show to you if the air strikes that don't kill me at the same time. So you can shoot through these if you're too close. And uh, I think that's a problem with uh, just a new enemy type, like a show without a shield. Something went wrong uh, doing the hitbox for it, and that's understandable. Uh, it should be an easy fix as well, but uh, it's just something I noticed again. Actually, can you kill the airstrike ships? That would be uh, yes, you can. That's good. That's gonna help you a lot. And the spikes, I don't like in this stage. Definitely, uh, they're in an angle. I don't wanna be your clown again. No, I don't wanna live in this triangle. I don't wanna be your clown now, cause I long to carry you. And this is one thing I don't like as well. They just drop right on you. There's no tail. You're just gonna get, uh, you're just gonna get damaged on the screen if you don't know what's coming. So there should be at least something to tell you that okay, two big guys are gonna drop on your ass, and you should be careful. I don't know how you would do that part, but. Uh, that's just uh, what I think here. This is the part where it should be really important to have these robots have a tail if they're on or not. So I spent quite a bit of time in this part the first time I did this. This is like my fourth time. So the robot is just gonna take damage from everything and you gotta, you gotta basically save its ass and carry it around to the end. At first like, the first time I was doing this, I didn't even notice the robot here, just, I just went to the end. And that's when I noticed, oh, I should track the robot with me. And so, can be a bit tricky. <laughs> this is why I'd like for it to have a tail. When you're hitting it when it jumps, uh, it's hard to tell if it really stopped or not. Okay, so let's... <laughs> you have to be careful with those, with those jumps, they're extremely precise. If you don't give them the... Uh, needed uh, momentum, they're just gonna drop down the pit. And here, I wanna showcase the ding mechanics. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, again, using the game's mechanics to uh, help your own game. That's pretty cool. Because in any other normal Mega Man game, I think the ding shots don't have the opportunity to deal damage. But in this game, they do. That's a fun addition. And the airstrikes... Uh, I think they're a bit too much together, so how would you even... Like, how would you dodge this? I don't think you can, you just have to be fast. I could be wrong, but... Never have I ever dodged this airstrike, I just wanna see... If it's possible and... Even if it is, look at, look how much damage I'm taking trying to figure that out, so... The airstrike is a bit unforgiving, I think it's a bit too... Like, like the bombs are, are a bit too much together. There should be more gaps between the bombs. The, like, that's almost... I think that's impossible to avoid. I could be wrong. But if it's not, it's nearly impossible. So, god damn it. So, oh, this is the problem with the stage. You have to go back if you fuck up. 
That was my bad completely there. But uh, there's, there has been situations where it's almost unavoidable to... Uh... Shit! Okay, so I just have to take damage on this now. I was too slow. Come on! Man, the, if the eyes were closed when it stopped, that would be really helpful. One more, one more! Big jump! Fuck yes! It's actually kind of cool, but uh, I can see where the frustration can kick in. It's a different stage, but uh, it's okay, I, I kind of like it. What, like, the first time I played this I didn't like it that much because it was different again, but I, the stage kind of grew on, grew on me, so it's okay, I guess. It, it's a fun, it's a fun stage to me at least. Uh, everyone should have their own opinion on this one, but uh, ah, the boss. Warman, uh, for one, doesn't look like a robot master at all. He just looks like a person in uh, in a knight armor. Uh, you pretty much have to know how to do this. Uh, at first, I like I went through almost every weapon. I found his weakness. Uh, I think it was the Crypt Cloak. But at first, I didn't think the Buster did anything to him, because if you just keep running away from him, he'll just corner you and... There's, there's no spot you can hit, so you have to actually wait for him to sh like do the uh, sword attack. And that's when you strike, and I didn't get that. His attacks kind of remind me of Shovel Knight. Uh, that's probably what they were after here, maybe? I'm not sure which game came first, but anyway. Uh, it's an interesting boss. It's just something that I don't expect to see in a normal Mega Man game. He looks too much like a person. That's my biggest gripe about this guy. Like, he doesn't look like a robot master, you should have added some kind of, like, mm, how, how should I say it? Some way to make it look like more like a robot master, whatever it is, but now he just looks like a person. So he has good tells on what he's gonna do, but adjusting is another thing. Because you really have to learn the attacks. And uh, if you're asking on my opinion on it as a whole, like as a robot master, Hmm... It's a mediocre boss again. I don't necessarily like this, but uh, it's not too bad. It's hard to adjust to his moves, because you have the instinct to jump every time for some reason. That's where you sh should jump and you should be more far away. <laughs> like, this boss is brutal. Whoa! But once you get it down, not too bad. I still don't... I don't have the... <laughs> oh man, I don't have the reflexes to adjust to what he's doing. That's my own fault, of course. Uh, a mediocre boss, in my opinion. I think it's mostly ruined by the fact that he just looks like a person to me. So let's actually try here. There we go. We just have to get into the mindset. If you're talking at the same time, that's gonna affect your gameplay, of course. There we go. You can easily do a no miss on this, uh, it's possible. But it's gonna take forever, so... Again, not worth it on this show, this particular show. So it looks like he can actually as well corner you. If he keeps doing the same thing and you keep jumping back, that's when you get stuck, pretty much. But, uh... It's a fu uh, Okay, it's not a fun fight, it's uh, it's an okay fight. I'm having some fun doing this, but it's kind of ruined by the fact that he just doesn't look like a robot master, and uh, the way to hit him is kind of slow and awkward. But the design, I kind of, there's some aspects about this boss that I like and some that I don't like, so... Eh. All in all, not a bad stage. Alright, so there's nobody to rescue at this point. So let's go ahead and save our game. Slot 7. I have 7 slots. Alright. Portman! Oh boy. This stage... has divided the players into two categories. Uh, the ones who like this stage and the ones who don't. And I happen to be in the don't league. This stage is a bit like Cypherman stage from Eternal, 
but a lot, lot, lot worse. And by worse, I don't mean... How should I put this? It's not worse. <laughs> it's not worse than uh, Cypher Man, but it is worse, if you get what I mean. The mechanics are good. The ideas that went in this stage and the mind work that the developer had to put into this is amazing. Like, the concepts and everything about this stage, they are pretty fucking cool. But there's some things that really drive you crazy when you're doing this, and I'm gonna showcase those to you. Uh, and that's the reason why I don't like this. Uh, some people like this stage, and uh, that's fine. We all have our own opinions. I'm just... Uh, I can't really evaluate this stage because I am biased. I am biased because I don't like it. So, rather than evaluate it and say that it sucks, I'm just gonna let you decide. If you're watching this now... Oh, alright, another uh, one of those things. So, uh, if you're watching this now and you're like, okay, if he hates the stage, he's gonna call it out and call that it sucks. I'm not gonna do that, because I know that there's... Uh, two kinds of people. I've seen a lot of comments online where people praise the stage and they like it, so... So, so, uh, I'm not gonna call it out, because I think it's unfair for me to do that. But one thing that irritates me that you can't shoot the ball anywhere else than the absolute edge. And that's gonna drive me crazy anyway, because I have to go here and shoot it. Doesn't make much uh, sense. Uh, it's probably because you have to be precise later on as well, so you're not gonna do uh, accidental shots on it. Maybe. But uh, I'm just gonna go through this and uh, you can look at it yourself and decide if you like this kind of thing or not. So here's the biggest mechanic that this game has, but before that I actually found out. Like, like the first, ti first time I got in the screen I wanted to test if this works, and it did. And there's my reward, so the game rewards you for being creative, and that's what I like. So very good design there. And this is the gimmick. You turn into Mega Man's ass when you go through the teleporter and uh, you can shoot. Uh, the problem is that this is not a twin sticks shooter, so you have to face in the direction you're shooting. And that's a bit of a problem, at least to me. Again, I'm not gonna bash the design here, because I understand that some people like this kind of thing. So, I'm just gonna go through this stage and uh, you can look at it as we go. I think these spikes don't kill you in one hit, so that's good. Oh, I should have looked before I went in. So this is gonna be more of a let's play stage than an evaluation stage for the reasons I listed. I don't wanna... Uh, I don't wanna come out as the guy who... Uh, is biased in his evaluations because uh, he doesn't like some of the stages. Because uh, I've seen I've seen a lot of comments uh, from people that like this stage. Here I was spending a good amount of 15 seconds trying to uh, see where I should go. And oh, there's a ladder here. So this is where I can actually evaluate the stage. Make the ladder stand out more. It's identical to the foreground. You should never do this. Make the ladder a different color at least. Uh, so you don't treat your players like uh, garbage. <laughs> okay. Oh, gonna take the shield attacker out. Again, using weapons here is, is advisable. You can do it without. And you can do it with. It's a bit easier doing it with the weapons. So here you gotta be pretty careful. If you fuck this up, you have to reset the whole room. And that's why I was losing my mind when I was checking this stage out, because the first time you do this, you're not gonna know exactly what to do. So you're just... That's my fault, my apologies. So you're just gonna test things out, like many times, and you're just gonna fail and fail. And because you have to reset the room so many times, it drives you crazy. But I'll see if I can do this without, uh, like, at the same time when I'm talking. That's one thing that annoys me, you can't. Like, you have to be careful around the teleport systems. Alright, we are approaching that one room that made me fucking crazy. Gotta love those explosion weapons, even though they are a bit overpowered. Oh! Forgot about this part. Like, this is one part where I think the game just says fuck you for not looking carefully. And that's of course my own fault again, I should have looked better, but it's also kind of a trick. 
Get you out. So this is the hill that I was talking about. This screen. I spent so much time here. Uh, and then I watched Rome Mithril do the same thing in like two minutes. That took me like half an hour. And I was like, oh my fucking god, I'm fucking dumb. But you're gonna see why. Uh, I don't think this is a good design. Uh, but I'm gonna show you why it's not. So let's uh, go ahead and drop these guys down first. Ah, uh, now I have to go up here. Alright. So the idea is that you drop the ball on these uh, bridges. And if the uh, guys that stick to the bridges vanish or die, the bridge disappears. As you're about to see here. There we go. That's gone. So what I did here was this. And then I was like, okay, how do I get past this? Because as soon as this guy vanishes, the bridge is gone. And I tried, I tried uh, mashing as fast as I could. The, the ball just doesn't reach this part. So that's what you have to do pretty much. You have to scroll the other enemy back, back on the screen in order to do this. So you have to kill the Cho again. And there we go. Now that guy is back on screen. And now you can do it. I was never in a million years expecting that that's what you had to do. When I finally figured it out, I was like, this can't be the way that this is supposed to be. But yes, it is. You're supposed to bring that guy back on screen. Uh, like, scroll the enemy back on the screen. And that's how you do it. I was, I'm still like, why is this a mechanic? This should, should have been better thought out, I think. Because this is not something that a lot of people would even, like, consider. Like, this is so weird. I would never have, like, figured this out if I was a bit dumber than what I am now, and I'm pretty dumb. So, I think that's not good design. That That's the part I can evaluate. I don't think that was fair. Like, that was extremely frustrating. You should have used other mechanics in order to do that. Like, it took me so long to figure that out. It's... I tend to see raw material. Do it in, like, two minutes. Huh. I guess they're just different different types of people, but uh, for dumbasses like me, oh my god, the section drove me crazy. And I still, I'm not still sure how to, how exactly to do this part, but I can do it if that makes sense. But my way might not be the right way, so I'll just go here, make the bridge. Ten, if I remember correctly. Go here. Uh huh. Then bring the ball back. I've only done this once before, so excuse me if uh, I'm doing this wrong for the first time here. So you have to, I think, bring the ball up. Yeah. Oh! Okay, so the spikes. Wait, what? I didn't even lose my health. Oh my god. Oh no, this is why this stage sucks, in my opinion. I have to do all of these again. No! Excuse me? The creative design. Unlimited shots. Oh my god. Alright, we are back. And I still don't understand why it's Mega Man's ass going through the other dimension. But uh, I guess we'll never find out. So you shoot the ball down there to the bridge. And this is what I don't get. How do you get back there safely? This is the only way. I think you can rush up there. Or, well, you could, like, go through the maze again. But you can actually make this jump. But I'm not gonna do that, because, you know, I don't want to re repeat the whole stage again. From the checkpoint? Because I don't want to repeat the stage again from the... F God damn it! God damn it! Give me a fucking pillow to fucking shout on! You fuck you mate, I'm turning British for this bullshit. I see why people love this, they're not dumbasses, they can beat the stage without a problem. Cause they're like, God damn it! Fuck you, shit! Oh my god, I'm so... Oh fucking fuck. Forget about the professionalism. Fucking hell. How many times? Oh my lord. 
I have to do this. Some stay dry and some get tringed. But Nico, you could have chosen four checkpoints. Shut the fuck up. Ay ay ay. Probably the people who love this stage did pick four checkpoints and not two. But they're pussies. Fuck them. Of course I'm choking here, uh, but if you felt like you got offended by the choke, leave a dislike. Alright, we are back at this lovely p fucking spot. Bring this here, bam! And ten. Oh god! Oh god! Exactly there! Pixel perfect! Shit! God damn it! Alright. Lower the bridge. Go back in. Careful! Oh shit! Okay. Go up here! Oh god! Go up here. Go here. Shoot the ball down. Should I try to make this jump then? I don't want to make that jump. I can be careful. I'm careful. I'm always careful. I never get hit. Ah! Oh. Want to go up here? Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh no. You have to be kidding me. I forgot. You have to Shit. You have to do it here again? Oh my god. Can we go in? Carefully. Ah! Die! Drop this down. Go back in. Go here. And we've done we've done it. Now. Don't hit this one, but hit this one. And we're out! What an easy stage. Fuck I hate this stage. Oh god! Oh my god! So the problem with this boss, and again, people seem to like this boss, but I don't like it for the fact that it's not very typical of a boss. It seems like 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 all of these bosses have different gimmicks after you beat the first eight. They're like the Ga Cossack bosses, if that makes any sense. They're a bit different from your normal bosses, and the only way to know what this guy does is to learn the different patterns at, at the bottom. So you have to see what he does and then memorize that after taking a hit, pretty much. You always, like, when you're learning this, you are gonna take some hits because you have no idea what he's gonna do. And I don't like learning by taking hits. That's just something I'm not a fan of. But it's, again, if we treat these like more like Cossack stage bosses, then it's more okay to me. And this is, uh, oh shit, my bad. Let's just take the E-Tank, I'm not gonna repeat this one. So now the battle is fought in here. So you against Daffy Duck. Mega Man's ass versus Daffy Duck. It's okay with me. Uh, what a strange boss. Like the creativity that went behind this boss and behind the stage. That's just something I, I could never come up with something like this. But uh, eh, I happen to be in that other division that doesn't like the stage or the boss. Uh, but again. I, I left the most of the evaluation out of this one because I realized that there are a lot of people who actually like this stage. I just don't like this for the reasons I explained. And the boss, uh, you learn it by taking hits and looking at the patterns at the bottom and then memorizing them, so... Eh, mediocre again. Okay, so I think that's uh, enough for this episode. I lost my mind on this stage. Uh, if you... Well, if you agreed on what I said on Borman, <laughs> leave a like, and if you disagreed, leave a dislike. Because I really didn't say much about that uh, Portman stage, uh, understandably. But uh, that leaves us with Drillman and Turbo Man for the next one. Uh, take care.